So I just want to take a couple minutes and show a neat feature and process in Business Center for making some adjustments to a corridor or refining a corridor to match or uh, get to or limit certain cut fill areas or volumes or, or just trying to balance this out. Basically, I want to make some adjustments. And what's, what's really neat about Business Center is the ability to work in multiple views at one time to really see what's going on and what's happening. So what I have here is I got four views. So the lower left corner is just a simple 3D view that I can orbit around and look at my model in different uh, orientation. The upper left corner here is my plan view. And in the plan view, what I have is I have uh, displayed is a cut fill map. So this cut fill map was generated from my road corridor surface and my uh, compared to my existing ground surface. Now it's actually not the finished ground corridor surface it's actually the earthwork so I have my uh, basically my subgrade uh, surface that I've created this cut fill map from so when I built the corridor I put in my layers of material my subgrades and my my ditches so down here in the lower right hand corner when you look at this and I scroll up and down the road and I go from cut or fill you can see where I'm you know, basically going into a fill situation uh, with no ditch or a cut situation uh, with a ditch. So again, I can manipulate my uh, view here in my cross section by scroll using the scroll bar to scroll up and down the road. So you can see where I'm in my curves or my super elevation, normal crown, so on and so forth. Okay. So in this uh, cut fill map, what I did was I applied a specific color mapping. So if I go to the properties of that and I look at the color mapping, what I've done is I've limited the range of colors. So basically uh, my fill uh, areas, anything greater than a meter of fill is gonna be a dark blue. Anything greater than a meter of cut is gonna be a dark red. And then I got some variated colors in between where basically white is plus or minus 0.1. And then within a half a meter, I'm you know, going to go yellow to green, a half to a meter is, is all green. And then the same thing, I just go red on the other, other side. So by doing that, what I'm able to see is easily identify where along my corridor is I have either um, uh, greater than uh, a meter of cut or fill. So in this particular case, I want to make an adjustment. So if I go back to my cross section view and I click in this area in here, you'll see that when I come up to my plan view, I get this nice glyph. I get this red marker that shows where I'm at along that corridor. It also shows up in the profile view, which is in my upper right hand corner over here, where the green line is my proposed design uh, alignment and the gray line there is the existing ground uh, surface. When I click here in plan view, you can see that it jumps me right to that particular station in my cross section view. So you can see I got quite a bit of cut here and I can see that also in the 3D view. So now if I come up to my profile view and I select my design profile and I grip one of these uh, grips here, uh, in this case the PVI, and I move that PVI up, you'll notice down in the cross section view, the orange dot is my centerline vertical profile. So if I move the profile up and down, I can see where it is in relation to the original ground. So if I move my center line design and I let go and I put it right here, you can see I'm gonna move it up to about where the existing ground is. And that's where I want my finished ground to, uh, to fall. What it's going to do now is because of the dynamic nature of the corridor is Business Center is recalculating the corridor surfaces, recalculating the subgrade surfaces, and then also recalculating the cut fill map all automatically. So down below you can see the green uh, calculation bar moving so it's creating and adjusting the cut fill. This is a fairly long linear road so it's going to take just a few moments to recalculate and adjust. But when it is done you'll see in the cross section view my road gets moved up. Uh, in the pro or 3D view you can see I've got now I've got less cut and then in my plan view I can see now I'm into that pink area where I have um, you know less than a half a meter of cut in that area. Over here in the yellow, I've got half a meter of fill, half meter of fill over here. Um, I've got some green, so I'm within a half to a meter of uh, fill over there. And now I can work my way down the site 
in the project and identify another area that I may have to adjust. And with that, once I have that all done, I can keep going to my uh, corridor and I can create some corridor reports. I can create uh, a, uh, a cut fill um, report or a uh, um, an earthwork report, basically, that will tell me what the cut fill is between the two surfaces. So I can go to my initial ground surface and I can use my base surface because you can see I've got a base, a sub base, and a finish. But if I use my sub base or my uh, base course and I run that report, it's going to come up and it's going to tell me what my cut fill is on my entire corridor. So again, by making these adjustments, checking my earthwork report, looking at my cut fill map, I'm going to be able to quickly balance this particular uh, road corridor in my, uh, my project. So here you can see I've got some cut, some fill, and I've got a little excess of uh, fill material that we can either haul off or move. But as I keep working and adjusting this, it will, um, I could get it to balance out. So again, this is a, be a manual approach, but having Business Center with these multiple views, being able to handle a fairly long uh, corridor makes, uh, makes it very easy to work my way through and adjust this, um, this corridor project.